Hey guys. So me and Levi just got back from town. We're going back on our low carb. We're trying a little bit harder to stay on it. We're gonna try harder to stay on it. Um, I got our low carb wraps. She's gonna eat things healthy. Um, I got, so I'm going to do something that I was reading about, and I'm going to see how it works, about keeping your body guessing. You know how when you go on a diet and then they say you hit like this plateau because you're watching what you eat and you're exercising, no matter how, what exercise program you're on, you just can't lose anymore. And so I was reading about that last night and this morning when I got up. And it's basically because, yeah, you hit a plateau. And it's because your body gets used to what you're doing. So it adjusts itself. Like, you're not eating much today. Oh my gosh, we're going to starve to death. So let's save all this. You know, it's just the way your body works. So next thing you know, you're storing fat instead of burning it. So I was reading this, this, uh, just googling different things and then i watched this little snippet of a video um some some guy had put out about different uh trials and diff, uh you know uh you know universities medical universities of different trials and things like this they were putting out so i studies and trials so i got to thinking well i'm not paying for I got the gist of listening to him talk and things I had read. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do low carb, high carb. Well, not high carbs. I'm not going to do high carbs. We're going to go back to low carb days and then a normal day. A low carb day and a no normal day. So it keeps your body guessing at what you're doing. And at the same time, I'm going to start doing some resistance workouts. So, I don't know, canned goods are, I'm going to do 10 minutes of resistant training. Res resistance, three times a week is all you have to do. 10 minutes. Now, I'm still going to walk. We're going to walk. I'm going to walk, you know, I always video us walking. So, you don't know. You, uh, video world doesn't know whether we're walking every day or not but um, we haven't like we used to because it's been so hot but uh, we're going to get back to walking every day no matter how hot it is we're going to walk every afternoon Get my phone ringing I'll check that in a minute so anyway I went and got all the stuff to go back to making wraps and um our bread has always been low-carb bread ever since I found out that they made low-carb breads. So, um, we're going to go back to, well, we're not going to go back, but we're going to stay eating our low-carb breads when a bread is required. But if we don't need it, we're not going to eat it. We're going to try to stay away from the bread as much as possible, but when we do need bread, we're going to do a low-carb bread. Um... Anyway, also, I've got to build a mum today, a garter for Caden, my oldest grandson's arm. See, I told Steph last year, she, she's got dishes to wash. She, uh, I called her for something or some, something. This was last year around homecoming time. I don't keep up with that anymore because I'm not working at the school and I don't know, you know, keep up with it. But she said, um, I, she was like, you know, I'll let you, some, I don't remember what I asked her, but she was at the place in Splendora having Caden's, picking up Caden's mom. And I said, oh, Steph, you should have told me. I said, I made all Tony and Buddy's moms the whole time they were in high school. You know, every homecoming year, I made their moms if they wanted a mom or was given a mom to a girl or, or, or whatever. And she said, well, she didn't know, but you know, she'll remember. So all of a sudden, <laughs> She sent me a message last night, wanted to know what I make Kate. Did I want to make Caden's mom? And I said, sure. I said, when is his homecoming? She said, Friday. 
So I said, oh my gosh, that's sort of short notice, but I will do my best. I remember back when we did the moms, you you had Michaels. You, there wasn't a Hobby Lobby back then. There was Michaels, there was Walmart. Uh, Walmart carried very little stuff for that kind of stuff. Most of the time you had to get it at Michaels. You could build almost everything you wanted to do at Michaels, except for get the letters, like that would stick on the mom, like their name or the school name or, or whatever. So I was able to get everything today, probably enough stuff to do two moms because I didn't know how long the streamers hung on the garters because I didn't make garters for the boys back then. First off, back then when my boys were in school, the garters, they may have started doing that toward the end of maybe Tony's years, but I don't remember Buddy's years, the guys wearing the garter moms. And their moms were always, I made their moms for their girlfriends. They were going to give them to their girlfriends. And moms would have like Buddy and so-and-so or Tony and then so-and-so on one of the streamers along with a bunch of other stuff. So I wasn't really for sure how long those, those ribbons needed to be. And uh, so basically I probably could have gotten half of what I got, but I think it's gonna be pretty when I'm done. I'll have a lot left over and I'll just put it away and save it for next year. Um, I did do something that I thought uh, would be cool. And then I, when I was on my way home, I said, I messaged her and I asked her to, if she still had Caden's mom's from last year from his garter, would she go measure the ribbons and let me know how long they were? So I, I would know how, to long, how long to cut the ribbons. And um, she sent me two pictures of last year's and the year before. And both of them were the white bums, the traditional white flower with then all the, the garb that goes around it. I chose because Splendor's colors are black and red. And then they have white in with it, but they're basically black and red. One of the moms had a lot of black in it. One of the moms was just traditional, nothing but the white mom and red and white ribbon with things, you know, dangling and whatever. But I bought a black mom. So I'm thinking he may not like the black mom. I'm going to build it and I'm barely going to attach the mom. That way, if he doesn't like the black, it'll be easy to pop off and I'll just run to Hobby Lobby and grab a white one and stick it in its place. So I'm gonna do that later and I'll probably get it on video for y'all. May, maybe not the whole entire dragging out building it because that could make a really long video. But I think, you know, maybe little parts of me getting it going and the finished product. And then if he does, like I said, if he doesn't like the black mum, if he doesn't want the white, the black flower, then I will run to Hobby Lobby, like, like 99 cents or something for the mums. So, um, but I'm going to, this whole bag right here is for that. And then I got to get groceries put away. But yeah, we're going to start doing, we're going to do a little, um, it's, I sort of think of it like intermittent fasting, but it's not really because we're not going to trick our body and basically for several hours a day not eat anything. We're gonna eat throughout the day, but on low carb days, it's gonna be very low carb, back to our wraps and whatever, whatever. And then on the other days, we'll still start out sort of low carbs, but our dinner will probably have carbs. That way our body will start burning. And I, and I think, and then also, like I said, I read about the resistance training, burns more calories and, and eats up more fat and it is a long term where, I don't know, they sort of talked about cardio. Not cardio, you're gonna do all this cardio, 45 minutes of cardio, and you had 45 minutes of fat burning during that time. But when you stopped, gradually the fat burning stopped. You know, your body settled down and stopped, you know, went back into like saving you mode. And with the, um, 10 minutes of resistance training. And then there were some other exercises in there focusing on muscle, because you know, muscle burns more fat. So you need to get your muscle built up. We, I don't want to be bulky. I'll, I'll never be bulky. I probably won't even lose that much weight. Um, but still, um, 
we're gonna go back we're gonna get back on our diets really good and um, cut back on all these snacks. I know you guys love to send him snacks and I do you know watch him and don't let him have too much during the day or whatever whatever but we're gonna go back to his sugar-free jellos and uh, no more chips we're not gonna buy any more chips although it's hard because the other day I had a tuna fish sandwich on my keto bread so totally low carb everything but I didn't have a chip in this house and I felt like man just a little handful five or six pretzels to eat you know with this sandwich so sometimes that stuff you just want something else and it's hard if you don't keep it at all when you start depriving yourself to the point that all of a sudden when you do have it um yeah like i bought these the other day when i was like we're not gonna do this no more chips um the little cups have less in them so this is like two servings where i think those little cups are individual servings but they have like a pizza flavor those go to waste here even the grandkids don't eat the pizza flavored one so that's you know ever how many cups is wasted so we like the, the cheddar is good the original is good this was sour cream and onions that was good he ate all the barbecue so that's what i got onto him yesterday i said you've then walked around this house with two bowls of chips so he's eating he's dumping and then he's doing something and then coming back later and dumping another so he's going through them too fast so yeah, I've got to, uh, we're just going to cut back on everything. We're just going to cut, I've got to cut him back. Uh, me too, but especially him. The last time we went to the doctor, see, I had lost, but he had gained. And it's always been backwards where he's lost four pounds or five pounds or three pounds or two pounds or ten pounds. And I maybe lost a pound or two or even gained a pound or two. But this time around, I had lost, and I knew I'd lost. I knew my clothes were fitting different. And uh, I figured he had gained. I could see it in his face, like he's got that little chin that hangs, and it was more noticeable. Um, so I told him, I said, before we go back to the doctor, we're, I'm going to lose mine back, whatever I've gained, because I know I've gained some. And I said, and you know you had gained because you had gained when we went to the doctor. You've got to lose it. So... We're gonna start that back. So I got I got chicken thighs over here out to go with the smoker later. I've got hamburger meat laid out. We'll do so you can it doesn't have to be not something good. Like I can do like a taco salad with this with these car low carb wraps, hamburger meat, a little bit of lettuce, some cheese, and you know, and with taco flavoring. And you've got a, a good taco salad that's filling. The same way with the chicken, the rotisserie chicken, or this kind of chicken, if I do it on the thing, just straight it all up. And you've got wraps with lettuce, or you've got chicken like salad bowls. Anyway, we're getting back to that. So I'm gonna get started on, put these groceries away and get started on this mom, and then I will show y'all the mom in a little bit. All right, love you guys.